Hello guys, Crispy, welcome back to another video. Today, my friends, I'm gonna be testing the GTX 960, as you can see over here in MSI Afterburner. This one is the gaming OC model from MSI, two gigabytes of VRAM as well. We're running, of course, the latest drivers here available from NVIDIA, optimized for Call of Duty Modern Warfare Warzone, which is, of course, the Battle Royale mode that we'll be testing in this video. We're gonna be using, of course, the Ryzen 7 3700X in 16 gigs of RAM as usual. You don't need the specs not bottleneck this GPU, something like a Ryzen 3 1200 and 12 gigs of RAM. You need at least 12 gigs of RAM to run this game properly. Keep that in mind. If you do have 8 gigabytes, it will stutter all over the place. So avoid playing this game with 8 gigs of RAM. As you can see over here, we're going to be playing, of course, at 1080p, 900p and 720p with the low settings. The texture resolution is the only setting that isn't set to its lowest. It's actually set to low instead of very low because we do have 2 gigs of VRAM here. So so we can actually set it to low. It will make things look a little bit better and your FPS will stay the same as very low. Everything else here is disabled or on the lowest settings. I'm just gonna enable these two over here because they do provide us with a couple of FPS more. So yeah, as you can see, everything else is disabled. Let's get into it. All right, guys. So as usual here in the plane, in this cutscene, we get really, really low FPS. That's normal. That's like the most demanding little cutscene in this game mode. So so rest assured, we will get more than 25 FPS <laughs> everywhere in the entire map, okay? That's for sure. <laughs> you know what, guys? I'm gonna mix it up a little bit. We're gonna drop he right here instead of downtown, okay? Let's go. We get pretty much the same FPS everywhere, so that's okay. Alright. Oh, oh! Oh my gosh, okay, okay, I'm fine. I didn't lose any health by doing that, <laughs> thankfully. All right, let's start counting the FPS over here, shall we? So as you can see already, we can't really sustain 60 FPS plus all of the time here with the GTX 960. The four gigabyte variant will probably run the same, you know? You can just increase the texture resolution if you're using the four gig variant, of course, to something like high settings without uh, the game stuttering here and there, so yeah, if you do use high resolution textures here with the 962 gigabyte, it will probably stutter a little bit, but the FPS will remain the same, so keep that in mind. The 964 gig is exactly the same GPU, but with, of course, 2 gigabytes more of VRAM, so it will perform the same. Where the heck are the guys, by the way? So we should probably just get away from here. I'm just gonna switch to this car age. I really like this weapon over here. A GTX 960 is not enough to get 60 plus FPS here at low settings even and at the 1080p resolution obviously I already tested for example the GTX 1050 Ti which also ran very poorly and these two GPUs are of course very similar when it comes to performance the 1050 Ti might actually perform a little bit better here in this game and it usually does you know it's a newer card it has better driver support uh, but as it is a, a DirectX 12 title oh boy oh boy are we fine here maybe come on nice we got both of them very very good okay yeah as this one is the DirectX 12 title it will run better inevitably with uh, the newer cards sometimes we are actually seeing a few slowdowns here and there with the GTX 960 it's not really gameplay breaking I in my opinion at least but it is enough to affect our 1% lows there which are of course right now sitting at 33 FPS so, oh my god, okay, 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 all right, guys, um, oh, another squad here versus Crisp, that's unfair, guys, that's very unfair, oh boy, there's one there, no, is that a guy, I don't know, guys, I'm not sure, I'm just gonna move on here, okay, please don't spot me, we're good, I think, oh my gosh, this is kind of uh, very scary right now, <laughs> right, there they are, uh oh, oh, oh my god. Only four bullets. Why did I do that? All right. Oh my gosh. See that slowdown? That's what I mean. It's really, really bad sometimes. Uh, I hope it will fix itself when you we when we play at the 720p resolution or 900p. Let's go to the Gulag now. It's not over yet. We still have a chance over here, and then we are gonna go ahead and change it to 900p. Where is he? There he is. Okay, I didn't hit him. Gosh. Alright, am I securing the area? I am securing the area. Oh boy! 
No, what the heck? <laughs> Come on, dude, that's unfair. Ah. All right, guys, here we go at 900p now. Uh, okay, 1600 by 900. As you can see, everything else is still the same over here. All right, so in the plane, we are getting close to 60 FPS, but we're probably not gonna get 60 plus FPS down there, obviously. Yeah, we're down to the 40s, almost touching the 30s right now. When we did drop into the 30s, there we go, with a few stutters as well. 30 flat right there, <laughs> Jesus. It's getting bad, guys. Okay, let's drop right here and go to that little spot once again. I hope that nobody drops here with us, guys. Okay, so while dropping, you can expect a few stutters here and there, which is uh, quite bad, to be honest, but you can't really expect more than that. You know, you gotta keep in mind that the GTX 960 is six years old by now. It came out in 2014. This is an old card. You can't really really expected to run the newer titles flawlessly and you know it's still doing a pretty decent job of running Call of Duty Modern Warfare so I am not mad at all with its performance right here you can still run the game even at 1080p so yeah the 1% lows are affected by those little slowdown thingies they are pretty much the same as the 1080p results but the average FPS is almost touching the 60 FPS mark so if you want a, a 60 fps average experience i would say that 900p is right up your alley if you have a 900p monitor you can play at your native resolution and still have fun doing so and i think the stutters have smoothed out a little bit or at least they are not as noticeable or as bad as they were at 1080p it seems like lowering the resolution fixes a, a little bit of the uh, stuttering issues it, it doesn't completely fix it of course but yeah they're much much better right now and much more sustainable or controllable whatever okay so let's go guys let's keep on moving here we managed to hit a 60 fps average right there so it's not too bad you know the experience is definitely playable you could have tons of fun playing at 900p with the gtx 960 here in call of duty battle royale warzone whatever and you aren't really at a huge disadvantage compared to for example someone that is playing x60 plus fps all of the time if you get used to this uh, variable frame rate here and there so a few drops into the 40s mid 40s maybe just lock the frame rate to like 40 or 45 fps and it will be a more consistent experience so you can actually build some muscle memory as well yeah if you do that and if you get used to play like that you can definitely wreck people playing at high refresh rates and stuff like that you know so you're not at the big disadvantage uh, I'm gonna do this I don't care aha I got him okay let's kill him get over here boy get over here boy where is he where did he go how did he he's moving so fast <laughs> what the heck okay so we got a bunch of money here we got ten thousand five hundred dollars right now and we got a supply crate over here so we should buy loadout driver self revive kit probably that's a good idea and a precision airstrike no 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 wait a second guys okay wait oh boy okay one down oh, come on dude oh no come on they don't know that i have self-revive thingy oh my god please don't oh come on guys all right we're going to the gulag once again at 900p we're with the deagle guys this is not good i'm not good with the deagle at all here in this game so eh, we're pretty much screwed i think maybe if we throw this we can actually get him here Yes, okay, we made it. All right, we're gonna get back into it. Let's stop it right there, by the way. Uh, where is 720p? Come on, game. All right, guys, 720p, as you can see right there, everything's still the same. Let's go. Okay, we're good here. We just dropped. Let's start counting the FPS again. And can we get above 60 FPS all of the time? With the GTX 1050 Ti, we actually managed to do it at, 10, at uh, 720p, not 1080p, of course. I think 
think we should be able to do it as well here with the 960. I think our 1% lows are going to be a bit lower than what we got with the GTX 1050 Ti, just because of those stutters here and there, you know, or slowdowns, whatever you want to call it. I'm not really sure what those are as well. So, All right, so far so good inside as well as outside. We're getting well above 60 FPS right here. It's almost touching 60. Yes, it's touching 60 right now. It's almost dropping from 6058 right there. That's not too bad still. I would consider a 58 plus FPS experience to be very, very good and almost unnoticeable when you drop below 60, you know, if it's only to like 59 or 58. Who cares, really? You know what? I never tried the drone here. I'm gonna try it. Here we go. All right. All right, so we are dropping from 60 FPS when we are using here the drone, as you can probably tell right there. But it's not too bad. Of course, you're not going to be flying around <laughs> when you're actually playing the game. So uh, we're going to go now. Okay. Okay, there's one over there. So you can still spot people at 720p. It's kind of hard to do so, honestly. But yeah, it is possible. And if you get used to it, again, you can see those pixels moving at the distance better if you you uh, are always playing like this oh boy I'm hearing shots very close yeah there's one guy right there I didn't even see him guys what the heck okay so that is the disadvantage of the 720p resolution a little bit you know was that me no okay one down oh yeah boy <laughs> get mowed down by my machine gun and we just died okay then <clears throat> We couldn't even get 60 plus FPS all of the time with the 960 over here. And well, guys, yeah, as we venture in. Oh my god, oh my god, wait a second, wait a second. We got our, that boy over there, which is. Oh! Okay. Alright. He's picking this fight. We're gonna do this, okay? Oh my gosh, why did I. Ah! Okay, all right, I still managed to get him. I'm happy. All right. Oh my gosh, the gulag. I always forget. Just to see the FPS here in the gulag, okay? Well above 60 FPS, so you wouldn't have a problem playing this game in the multiplayer title, uh, the multiplayer game modes, actually. I have done a separate video testing the 960 in the multiplayer, and it did fairly well even at 1080p with like 50 plus FPS all of the time, so you could definitely have fun even at 1080p. This map, however, is just way too big, you know, so just stay away, maybe. Okay, we're gonna go with the Glock here versus this guy. <laughs> Two guys over there. <laughs> right guys thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed the video i'll hopefully see you in the next one don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and as always i love you all Bye bye